Brendan Diazio, Johnny Walker's Factory in Kilmarnock today at an award ceremony for Unite learners that have taken on learning and training over the last year while they've been faced with redundancy. These training and learning opportunities have been provided uh, through Unite Union Learning Reps led by the convener and lead Union Learning Rep on site, Jeanette Dunbar. I think the biggest challenge is actually getting the company to take it on board. Uh, we spent a considerable time actually getting it up and running. Uh, initially, Diageo as an employer was sceptical uh, in the role that union learning reps could play and the benefits that they could play to the site. This has now changed. Diageo recognised the contribution that union learning reps have brought to the site, the benefits that they've gave both to the employer and to, more importantly, Unite members in this situation. So much so that Diageo now are looking to actively engage with Unite. But the positive side is the amount of people who have actually undertaken the training. All different sorts of training to help them when they leave here. The learning and training opportunities provided by the Union Learning Reps on site were in response to uh, the redundancy situation that was affecting over 900 people in the Kilmarnock area, both at the Kilmarnock site and at the Hurlford site. In the last year there's been over 22 courses provided for Unite members on site uh, by the ULRs, organised by the ULRs, delivered in the workplace at shift friendly times that gives your members an opportunity to take on accredited learning that hopefully gets them into further employment. Right, well good afternoon everyone and thank you very much for inviting me to your celebration today. Having been away from learning for a long period of time for some of us it's very, very brave to actually go back into it again and face it up and, and give it your all. And you've all done that and you've all been very, very successful. So first I have Pat Alexander, <laughs> who has completed a pensions course. Well, well done, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just very rewarding to see them all doing things I never thought they could do and achieving what they did achieve. And we've been doing it all ourselves and it shows other people that it can be done and that you don't have to be like brains of Britain or anything like that. It's, it's, if we can do it, they can do it and it gives them something for when they leave here and they'll not have to struggle or, do you know what I mean, they'll have a lot more qualifications and it boosts their confidence up. It's just not just ours but theirs as well. Then we have Fiona Armstrong who is attending a customer care course. Well done, Fiona. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that that's what Unite stands for, Unity, and we all worked as one, and now they all feel as if they're all part of the same group, and they've really enjoyed their learning, and it's nice to see that they're actually enjoying the learning, it's not actually just the doing it, it's enjoying it, and meeting new friends as well. When I started the ULR, um, because I'm no a steward, um, I found it a bit kind of, but once I got into it, and it grew my confidence and helped me help others as well, and it's helped me um, boost my confidence for college and it's helped me help others to boost their confidence to go. I think they should all be very proud of themselves and I'm very proud of them.